Alright, I've been waiting for this one. Uh, Gladiator is one of the champions that, like, I really tried to defend, but in the end, it just, like, wasn't worth it, right? Because this champion obviously had problems, and yeah, he needed some help, right? Like, the champion that won Summoner's Choice just shouldn't have ever been that bad, right? And he wasn't, like, terrible. He was just obviously, like, not... He wasn't going to be used anywhere pretty much, and with this buff, as you can see, a lot has changed. A lot has really changed. And I'm going to walk you through what happened with this buff and like what has changed. Keep in mind that like this is the beta for the buff, so like it's not fully finished yet. It might change a bit for the better or for the worse, but we'll have to see how that plays out. But what changed with Gladiator? Well. First things first, the Intimidate is now a passive. That has a lot of use that you'll see later, but also the Confidence buffs also got a potency increase. It used to be 3% attack rating per confidence, it is now 5 and it caps at 25 instead of 24. So yeah, that is a massive help for his damage output, and you can tell the difference that it makes, right? Because look at this damage output, he is just melting Star-Lord now. And additionally, his confidence thresholds have been decreased a bit, so you only need 20 confidence to start doing the physical burst damage after every special attack. So yeah, massive massive change there as well. And this character just feels so much better to play, and just look at that damage output. That was sub 1 minute for almost 700,000 health. Uh, the old gladiator would honestly just dream of that damage output, you know? But now we have Kingpin here, and this is where the Intimidate being a passive really comes into play. Because before this, he used to be pretty bad for like Purify characters. And while he doesn't like have a way to stop Purify for his Incinerates and his Cold Snaps, he still has access to the physical burst damage. And that's great for like Kingpin especially where his special attack is very gladiator friendly. So yeah, this change is honestly really really good. It makes him good for like debuff immune matchups as well. We'll get to that later. So yeah, these changes so far, very very good stuff, right? And we're not even done with the changes. There are more changes because there was there was like a lot of things that Gladiator needed and they kind of just solved it all. So yeah, massive, massive props to like the buff designer for this character because yeah, just did so, so good. And I feel like the Summoner's Choice Champion does finally have some justice. But like, it's hard to describe how I feel about this champion right now because it's like, it's just there's something different, right? With the old Gladiator, I didn't feel the confidence with the character, but with this newly buffed version, I feel a lot more confident with the champion, and that's ironic because he is literally built off of confidence. So yeah, it just, it feels so much better to use this champion, and speaking of like uses, here is future Ant-Man. Now, when I recorded this video, the signature ability was bugged, and at SIG 200, it's supposed to be a 15 second vigilance to start off the fight. Now, that is really really good at max SIG, right? But even at SIG 20, which is what's shown in this fight, he still does really good against future Ant-Man. And yeah, another thing that changed with Gladiator is his incinerates and cold snaps cannot have decreased duration. So like future Ant-Man and his signature ability just does not work against Gladiator, which is a massive, massive change. And yeah, it makes him really good for future Ant-Man. And this is a good thing, right? Because future Ant-Man is just super annoying. And he's like one of the 
most annoying defenders to fight, so any counter to him is already a massive, massive win in my book. But yeah, Gladiator is not just for future Ant-Man, he is for another tech defender that is honestly even harder than him. But yeah, you'll see that in a second here, but yeah, he is just so good for these tech characters now. Uh, before, like, the buff, he needed to get to the SP2 to, like, get the Vigilance active, right? Because the Vigilance shuts off the armor ups. And, you know, that was still pretty good, but having to go to the SP2, it really just does hinder him a bit sometimes. But yeah, this change is just incredible. And at max sig, it is even crazier, but I can't show it in this video. So yeah, you'll, you'll have to see that later. But uh, so far, so good here. Future Ant-Man is just getting destroyed right now. Like, Gladiator is so good for him now. It is just so amazing. But of course, there are other future Ant-Man counters like Maestro, for example. But uh, Gladiator, of course, isn't just for future Ant-Man. There are more champions that he takes really, really well. And with the buff, like that list got a massive, massive increase too. So yeah, so far, so good. And he is just honestly destroying this fight. Like it pretty much is over now. We drop the SP1, does some pretty nice damage. And yeah, we go for the physical burst damage as well. And it just ends the fight. Not too shabby at all. Still a very, very good time there too. And here is the other defender that is honestly more important than future Ant-Man because Red Skull is one of the craziest defenders right now and it's not even close. He is just an insane defender now and he is so hard to fight against, right? But even a SIG-20 Gladiator just wallops him. He is so good for this fight because of the unblockable, of the heavy attack range. He is just honestly one of his best counters now. And that is great because Red Skull needs a lot of counters because he is super, super annoying to fight against. But yeah, the physical burst damage on the special attacks is incredible too because Red Skull's like special attacks are really friendly for Gladiator. So yeah, look at this. The physical burst damage is pretty easy to access and yeah we dropped the sp2 we're still unblockable so there is that as well he drops the sp1 again we get the burst damage in drop the heavy attack and yeah this is just going very very good so far we go back in he drops another sp1 pretty soon and yeah that about does it really really good fight there uh honestly one of the better red skull counters now and that is a great thing because if he's countering meta tech defenders, then that means that there is a lot of hope for this champion. But let's try to go above and beyond now. Uh, this right here is Gauntlet and Doctor Doom. And this is, you know, not an ideal fight in the slightest because yeah, he is a cosmic character. This is a mystic champion with Doctor Doom. And these nodes are just super annoying as well. But why does he take this fight kind of well? Uh, so he does it because of his ability accuracy increase for his confidence buffs now that means that whenever he like is glanced right he still gains the confidence buffs now that is massive for like fights like this and for maybe even maestro which is another meta defender so we'll have to see how that turns out as well but before the buff i thought this fight was like impossible with him because it just didn't feel good but with like this new amount of confidence with this champion i feel more confident doing these hard fights with him because i know that he can handle them better now and he does do these fights really really well like the burst damage is incredible the confidence buffs are just dealing a lot more damage and the incinerates are just ticking big time now it is honestly just so nice and keep in mind that this is no synergy and if the white tiger synergy does like stay as is he is going to be even crazier for questing but like even without it he is still doing really really good so far but yeah here i get the parry then i drop the heavy attack into the sp2 and yeah very very good damage the glancing damage is like doing numbers on us too but that's like i could have played it better i could have played it like more ideal and like avoided the glancing damage but like, I'm not gonna really fuss about it, it's fine. The fact that he can just like take the fight in the first place is already a massive, massive thing. But yeah, now we have this MODOK fight, and his unblockable is really good for just countering this champion. Uh, nothing too crazy here, just, yeah, it's a MODOK, but like, any auto block character he's good for because of the unblockable, and any missed character he counters pretty well with the 
vigilance. So yeah, very good for like some pretty annoying mechanics, right? And that's always a good thing to like have access to, like having unblockable, for example. Uh, unblockable is always still super valuable because there are some very annoying auto block champions in this game. And while Miss isn't like too prominent these days, it still is really nice to have as well. Like having access to a vigilance that not only is good for miss counters, but it also counters armor ups and it gives him true damage as well. And you all know who like really requires true damage these days, the serpent. So yeah, this man is countering some pretty meta defenders, I feel like. And that is, like I said, a great thing because if they're not countering meta champions, they won't have too much use. But Gladiator is doing like great things against these really good defenders so yeah that's why i think this buff is honestly just a massive massive change for the character and yeah this matchup is just going super well so far he is getting walloped right now and we go back in drop another heavy attack we just build up some more confidence even though we're at the max cap already so it doesn't really matter but yeah we go back in drop another heavy attack and yeah that's about it for this fight not too shabby in the slightest and yeah, a minute and 19 seconds, honestly pretty good for like, you know, a gauntlet fight. But yeah, now we have the Spider-Ham fight, and this one is super annoying, because Spider-Ham is just so annoying with these nodes. But yeah, Gladiator can actually take him pretty well now because of the Intimidate being a passive. And yeah, he's pretty good for the fight. Uh, it's kind of a long one, but to be fair, literally every champion in the game doesn't like do this fight fast because yeah it's just super annoying to deal with but yeah gladiator is honestly one of the better options now and it's all because of this buff but yeah while we like watch this fight because it it's very long while we watch it i'm just gonna yap about like gladiator because i just i feel so happy for this champion because like before this what was he he was just a laughing stock right because they just didn't really do him justice like at all because he was the summoner's choice champion he was supposed to do like incredible things as the summoner's choice champion and he just didn't deliver pretty much anywhere i think in like the uh rebalance like post that they made they said exactly that that like he just wasn't performing anywhere so like of course a change had to happen and you know what a change did happen because i think with this buff he's going to be good for a lot more stuff and he's gonna like actually deliver as the summoner's choice champion and you know the other summoner's choice characters like what hercules and quicksilver i think they're still better overall well actually i think gladiator versus quicksilver could be a pretty good debate because i think they're like pretty similar power level wise because like they are both very utility packed, right? Gladiator has true damage, he has a miss counter, he has an unblockable, he has access to uh, armor up reduction, he has just so many things going on. He has like power burn and drain immune, he has ability accuracy increase. He just really does a ton of stuff, right? The issue was the damage output and like the fact that his playstyle just wasn't consistent. But like with the increased intimidate duration and all that, the playstyle feels a whole lot better now. And Quicksilver of course is like monstrous utility wise. And his issue was the playstyle as well, but honestly his wasn't like anywhere near as bad as Gladiator's. So yeah, the, the change in like effectiveness for Gladiator was honestly insane. And it like made him go from the laughing stock of the summoner's choice to honestly up there with like quicksilver so yeah i think this was just a well needed buff and a like well deserved one too because this man had to endure a lot for a champion that was like built around confidence there was just no confidence when using this character beforehand because you just couldn't use him he just didn't feel proper to use there was just so many issues with him right like the only thing that made me use him in the slightest was the white tiger synergy and now that like he is really strong by himself that is just truly amazing right but yeah this spider ham fight is really fun because the physical burst damage triggers three times on his special attacks so he is just getting destroyed right now and yeah this fight is essentially over so a bit of a longer one for sure but he still does it really really well and yeah, the Gladiator buff is honestly just 
it, it's just really nice. I think it's a massive improvement for sure, and I think it was enough to make him like a genuinely good character. But I want to see your thoughts on this because, you know, Gladiator, he has his fans, he has his like dedicated haters, but I think we can all agree that this champion is a whole lot better now. But let me your thoughts on this buff, and yes, about it for me.